I'm able to actually see the pin numbers. So I'm not just guessing, I'm not just stabbing wires. I actually know exactly where I'm gonna go. I have a good plan of attack and I'm able to figure out everything correctly, fast and efficient. Uh, hi, my name is Juan Pinedo. I work for these laptops. I'm a trainer. Uh, we do a lot of field training as well. Uh, right now we're currently in South Carolina. We have our facility in Texas. We have a facility in Chicago. So you guys have different facilities you guys uh, could go to in case uh, you guys want to do in-class uh, training. So this is going to be a continuation of last video. Uh, when this unit came in, it had a bunch of lights. It looked like a Christmas li uh, light right there on the cluster. And we came to the conclusion that we need the proper uh, repair information and the proper uh, software. So diesel laptops with the diesel tablet, yeah, that's perfect right there. It's going to allow us to fix uh, the unit correctly. And we know the customer is going to be happy. And he's going to keep coming back because he knows that we're going to be doing a good job with the software and the repair information. At this moment, I'm currently in diesel repair. So I'm able to figure out the proper wire diagram. So that allows me to properly uh, troubleshoot uh, one of the check engine lights that it has at the moment. As we can see, I was able to locate uh, the sensor I'm after. All I have to do is just uh, type in uh, air temperature and it was able to find it for me. So it makes it a lot quicker, a lot faster, especially when uh, things are up to uh, go fast in the shop, you know, things move real fast. So we have to be able to uh, go as, uh, as everything uh, is moving up, uh, quite quickly. So in this case, I'm able to figure out that this is my sensor right here on top, and I'm able to look at my, uh, as a three pin connector, I can see the three wires, and then right here I can see the connector at the ECM, which allows me to see what each pin is and the numbers. So if, in case I have to go uh, disconnect the ECM connector, I'm able to actually see the pin numbers. So I'm not just guessing, I'm not just stabbing wires, I actually know exactly where I'm gonna go. I have a good plan of attack and I'm able to figure out everything uh, correctly, fast and efficient. So right now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start moving towards uh, the engine right here. And as we can see, I already have uh, the multimeter set up and I'm able to use uh, the right connectors. And keep in mind, you guys need to have a, a good uh, terminating kit and the reason why you guys want that is because uh, if you have a good terminating kit, it allows you to diagnose correctly. So in other words, it allows you to be away from the diagnostic so there's no human interface error. And that's exactly the way you want to troubleshoot. So as we can see right here, I can see the multimeter. We're getting 2.6 volts. And I'm back probed right here on the back. So I know everything is good. Everything, as soon as I moved it right now, it went down to zero. So what does that let me know? It lets me know there's some type of a um, miss pin connection. It's not making a good... Uh, contact or something like that. So it's basically an intermediate issue and that's basically what the customer is complaining. Uh, here and there, check engine will come on and off. So in this case, uh, if you guys want to learn more about how to use the multimeter, as we can see, there's a lot of buttons on this meter right here. So a lot of people, uh, they're kind of scared they're kinda, uh, to use the multimeter. If you guys want to learn more about it, you, got, you guys want to feel more confident, and you guys want to actually uh, diagnose correctly, uh, I suggest that you guys come to the diesel training uh, for electrical one, electrical two, uh, electrical one deals with how to use a multimeter, how to understand electricity, so you guys don't have to be scared uh, to use uh, the multimeter around electricity. Electrical two is going to deal more about all the engine sensors and uh, way more stuff than that. So you, at, uh, at the very end of both classes, you're going to feel real confident on your next job. And of course, the more you practice, the more confident you're going to feel about it. Every single job, you're going to come up, you're going to become more proficient, a lot better to understand uh, diagnostic wise. Okay, uh, thank you. We're coming to the end of this video. Uh, if you guys um, uh, like the video, please like, uh, please subscribe to these laptops. If you guys have any comments or anything else that you guys want to look at or any new videos or ideas you guys want us to do uh, for you guys, uh, make sure you guys write it down in the comments. We're going to go ahead and read the comments below. And uh, we appreciate everything you guys do for us. Uh, thank you for all your support. And like I said, if you guys have any ideas, any future ideas you guys want to see, uh, don't hesitate to write the comments below. And we're going to go ahead and read them for sure. Uh, thank you for, uh, thank you for everything you guys do.